then install Python and install Ansible itself. So when you install Homebrew, you run brew install Python. And then you issue the command sudo pip install Ansible. You could also install Ansible via Homebrew with brew install Ansible command. If you try to install Ansible on Windows, the things become a bit complicated in this solution. The easiest way would be to, in, to use a Linux virtual machine with something like VirtualBox to do your work. Another way to use Ansible on Windows is installing Windows subsystem for Linux or WSL. It is available on Windows 10 and it will allow you to run Linux command line inside of Windows 10 box. One more solution to run Ansible on Windows is to run it within an appropriately configured SIGWIN environment. SIGWIN is a program which allows you to have functionality similar to a Linux, Linux distribution. For this course I'll be using Ansible on CentOS Linux distribution and it'll be provisioned or installed with the help of Vagrant. So if you want to follow along, you have to download and install Vagrant, then you have to download and install VirtualBox, create a Vagrant file, or if you want to use my file, please request it with PM on Udemy.